Hey guys, happy Sunday, welcome back. So I had a pretty good morning today. I went to sleep around midnight and woke up around 8 a.m. So I got that good full eight hours of sleep. <laughs> and I had some good breakfast and later on I'm gonna be studying for the GMATs, which is what I wanna focus on today. So during my first vlog, I mentioned to you guys about the app that I used to study for the GMATs and um, also the official website where you can take practice exams. And I actually haven't practiced any exams yet because today is only going to be my second day of studying for the GMATs. But I've looked through the website and um, I just wanted to show you guys what it's like and I also wanted to dive deeper into the app and show you guys all the details about it. And I hope you guys will find that helpful. So let's get started. All right guys, let's talk about the GMAT Manhattan Prep app that I use. So uh, we got the questions, custom quizzes, video tutorials, review flashcards, quizzes, glossary, the GMAT, like, uh, test taking strategies, and MBA tips, uh, mission tips, writing tips, resumes, recommendations, interviews, optional essays. So this is all really good for the application process itself. Um, let's skip over to the questions. So up here you can see um, there's a color code um, of tags and a star, right? Um, the star is what you can favorite questions, and the green one is how many you got right, and the yellow or the orange is um, the ones that you kind of know, kind of don't know, and the red is what you got wrong and you don't know. S and the gray is what you haven't done yet, questions you haven't done yet. So the questions we have on here our foundations of math skills, quantitative reasoning, advanced quantitative problems, foundations of verbal skills, and verbal. So we got our foundation of math skills. And again, up here, you can see that I got um, 85 correct, 10 I don't really know, and five that I got wrong. So these are the ones that I've done so far. Ooh, I gotta work on number properties, I think. <laughs> um, and then you go to the quantitative reasoning. Um, I haven't done any of these yet, but there's uh, fractions, decimal, percents, algebra, word problems, geometry, number properties. And then you go over to the advanced quantitative problems. I haven't started these yet. Um, I guess they kind of just tell you, you know, how hard it gets. <laughs> My brain hurts. Let's look at what question they have. Ooh. Wow. All right. Um, and here we have the foundation of verbal skills. Uh, up here, you can see how many I got right, wrong. Um, so I think I really got to work on some of my, my vocab. And here is the verbal questions, uh, all of them. So decoding idioms, critical reasoning, sentence corrections, some passages that you gotta read. And over here, if you move over to the progress button, it shows you um, your progress on your, on your studying. And so my overall score right now, the number of problems I've done so far is 198. And I got 145 correct, and then it tells me my average time per question, which is 1 minute and 26 seconds. And let's move on to strategies. Um, here they show you how to optimize your performance. Stress management, everyone needs that. <laughs> Quantitative strategies for the math problems and verbal strategies. A pretty good app, I'd say. Hope it helps you guys. All right, guys, let's talk about the GMAT practice test now. So if you go on Google or any search engine, you could just type in GMAT online practice test. And the first one that pops up for me is this MBA.com one. And this is the official site for 
um, taking the GMATs for registering for exams and everything. So this is your go-to. So let's click on it. And what shows here is the GMAT official starter kit plus practice exams one and two for free. So it shows you um, what you'll get. And a detailed description kind of shows you how to use it, what you have, and also the tech requirements to access it. And then if you want to take more practice exams, here are the other pricings. There's also a quantitative practice exam that you can take. And since this is the official website to take the GMATs, um, you can also click here. Let's click on the side and you can go to exams. And this is where you can register for the GMAT online exam, which I highly recommend just because it's COVID right now and probably a lot of testing centers are closed. So you can register for it there. Or you can also register for an in-person exam um, if you have locations available uh, that are not closed because of COVID. So yeah, this is a pretty good website to check out too. So I just finished studying for the GMATs for today. It's my second day officially studying and I spent about two and a half hours. So I'm a bit tired and also proud of myself um, for getting a lot done. And I just wanted to show you guys some of my um, math notes and my process of studying for math for the GMATs. And um, also this is my brother's room. <laughs> I use his room because he has a bigger desk and he's not here right now. He's um, in his apartment in Georgia. Uh, he goes to college there. Uh, he's actually on winter break, um, but he wants to stay there. So we're going down for Christmas to visit him. But yeah, um, I'm gonna show you guys my notes for math right now. So here are my scrap papers for today. Uh, I kind of don't use a calculator, so I just calculate everything by hand. Um, and this is actually a um, watercolor color pencil that I use. Um, I kind of grab anything I can that I can write with. So even if it's like a used old eyeliner and I just find it lying around, I kind of just grab it and use it anyway. I'm kind of weird like that. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope that was all helpful information for you guys and I really thank you guys all for joining me today and I am going to go reward myself and watch some TV and eat some good food, maybe take a little nap. <laughs> um, yeah, but until next time, bye guys. Oh, also, Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, <laughs> Delrina Fan. Um, perks of having a unique name. <laughs> Alrighty, bye.